In this video, we're going over how to reset your Fitbit Versa 2 back to factory settings. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to learn cool tips and tricks on your mobile electronic devices, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so it can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through how to reset your Fitbit Versa 2 back to factory settings. All you're going to do is tap the button to turn on your screen, swipe over until you get to the settings wheel right here. Next, you're going to swipe up until you get to the about section. Right here, tap about and then swipe all the way up until you get to factory reset. Tap there, tap reset. And that's going to reset your Fitbit back to factory settings. Now, normally the reason someone is resetting a Fitbit is either they're going to give it to someone else or maybe it's malfunctioning and they want to reset it to see if it fixes the problem they have. So if that's the case that you're in and now you're trying to pair that Fitbit back to your phone, let me walk you through how to do that. So I'm just, I opened up the Fitbit app here. I'm going to tap on the profile icon in the corner. Next, you're going to go to set up a device. It's going to ask you what device are you setting up? We're going to tap Versa 2, tap setup. Now ours is still in the factory reset mode, so it might take a minute for it to recognize it, but we can just follow these instructions until then. Now you will need to plug in your Fitbit to the charging cable so that uh, it can do the initial pair that is a part of the process. So you'll grab that, connect your Fitbit. Now once that's linked together, it should find your Fitbit. Now, actually, I just hit next and it found it without us having to do that. So even better, you may not have to plug it into power. Um, but basically, it found it. And on the next step, it should ask you to input a code. There it is. So we're going to put the code that shows up on our screen here. And then after that, it should prompt you to download any updates that uh, are pending for the Fitbit. And then after that, it'll take you right back to your main screen that you're used to. So you'll just continue to follow the regular prompts that show up here, and then you're good to go. So hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. I tried to show a little bit extra. Make sure you tap on that when it pops up here. I tried to show you guys a little bit extra because I know, again, the main reason that someone would be factory resetting usually is to pair it to a new device. So hopefully again, this was helpful for you guys. Again, like, favorite, and share if the video was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.